out there on the internet. My name is Zombie Slayer, and welcome to a game called A Shadow Over Freddy's. Now, this is a very, very high rated Final Fantasy Freddy's fan game, and a high quality one at that, because this game was made by the one, the only, Phil Morg, or better known as Fiznob. Now, if you don't know Fiznob, uh, he helped. Uh, the one and only, the legendary Nixon with the joy of creation. Now, if you guys do not know the joy of creation, I played it on my channel before. I played it on my channel. And it's, it's there. <laughs> then do you guys have no an idea what you're in for? <laughs> anyway, we're um. I don't really know that much about this game other than it's a uh, point and click adventure game, kind of like, um, Whiskers? I think that's what the game is. I, I know what Whiskers is, I know I haven't played it yet, a lot of people have been asking me to play it, but a lot of people wanted me to play this game as well. Um, um, shout out to some of my friends for telling me about this game, and, uh, yeah, let's just get right into this, because, <laughs> uh, I'm ex I am very, very, very excited! So happy. Whoa. Static! Ooh, that sound though. <clears throat> you wake up in a dark room, laying on the cold checkered, checkered floor. I cannot read. I will redo that completely un momento. <clears throat> You wake up in a small room, laying down on a cold, checkered floor with your back against the wall, feel feeling like hell. Fucking burp demon, I just ate before I recorded this. <laughs> your mouth tastes like copper, and there's nothing to hear but the low buzz of a metal fan. Gradually, your eyes begin to open, muscles trembling as they try to stretch and contract. What the fuck?! <laughs> Your memory is foggy and your head throbs, failing to recall any information that might shed light on your current situation. Your body reacts faster than your brain, picking itself up off of the floor, using a desk nearby. You grab a light source and begin to look around to regain your bearings. A lifeless husk of a building reveals itself to you through the cone of the flashlight, dust and cobwebs lining every corner. Crumbled up papers, cups, black stains covering the floor, and drips of water drip seeping through the rotten wooden ceiling. Whoa, this description! The layout is familiar to you, but its walls aren't nearly as inviting or friendly. Your chest feels heavy with dread. Much like a man being hung in the gallows. What the hell? <laughs> The first coherent thoughts that enter your head urge you to leave as soon as possible. Leave immediately before the shadows that have devoured this abandoned place come to consume you as well. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's great to have you back home. <laughs> Five nights remaining. We need to drink more water to get today started. There we, there we go, just had a drink of water, we're about to get the game started. Ooh wee! Look good! Instruction, instructions will appear every night before going out into the restaurant. Click on them to continue. Move, you move your cursor around, move your cursor to aim the flashlight at areas of interest. Point towards the side of the screen to work with the camera. Got it, night. Left click on an open door on an open path to move into adjacent rooms. A hostile presence is watching. Complete your objectives before 6 a.m. or you will be attacked. Woo! <laughs> so, let's do this. Boy! Night one. Find the exit. Woo! -wee! It's looking good. CG likey so far. Wow. <sighs> the f 
fuck was that? Was that the door shutting behind me? Oh my god, it was! Well. I already know. I'm in for a shithole. <laughs> fuck me, man. Alright, let's go here. Why is my life flickering? Why did that flicker at the last second? There's something in here! What the fuck was that? Was that Freddy? Was that Golden Freddy? Or was that Shadow Freddy? Oh my god, I'm noping the fuck out of that room. Jesus. <laughs> no going on. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? So, I had to do something before the time runs out? Alright, do 360. Now let's go before we move on. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Oh, where the fuck am I now? I'm next to the stage. Should we go? Phone guy. Stop it. Stop it with your bullshit. Oh. Oh, it's a Freddy party. Can I pick him up? Oh my god, I just picked him up. I collected him. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Uh, this way, I'm guessing. Let's move on. Ugh, fuck, I'm cold. It's cold in my room right now. All right. Uh, see what else we can do here. Exit. But let's go to the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom first. I swear to God. So if I see Freddy, g what is this? What the Sam Hill is this? Is this the safe room? Oh my God! That says so much. Good prediction. Phil. Oh my god. What the fuck, bro? I want to explore the entirety of this thing. Oh! Oh! I'm in the arcade area. I'm in an arcade corner. Nice! Nice, very, very, not very nice indeed. Very, very nice, uh, Shemmy Copper. I hate it when my light flickers like that, bro. I can't hear shit. I'm gonna turn my sound up a bit. Oh, now I can hear that. Um. Foxy? Was that you, bro? Find something cool? What's this a safe room? Oh my god, there's so many sealed up doors that I wish that I could go into or open up at least. My god. I have till 6 a.m. I have quite a bit of time. Uh what the fuck? <laughs> my light! It keeps flickering and I don't like it. The fuck? Oh, I f oh, I'm in Pirate's Cove. Okay. Fasten. I just discovered a fucking mechanic. I discovered I'm a fucking mechanic. I suggest we nope the fuck out of here. <laughs> Cause I do not want to be in this place any more than I fucking 
have to? Yeah! Oh yeah, I showed the stage, but I was go. Oh, what's this? What's this long ass window doing here? I'm gonna move on. Move on. Fred! Fuck you. Backstage. Backstage! Oh, we haven't been there yet! It's creepy. It's creepy. It's creepy. Get me the fuck out of here. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Let me out. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Let's go into the break room. See what's here. Fuck me, man. Oh, this is a literal break room. A key rack. Or, or whatever. A, 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 hangers. Whatever the fuck they are. This is probably going to house something important that we're probably going to be needing in later nights. We'll take note of that. Take note of that. I'm going to just like... Punch it in my brain. Okay. Alright. Uh, now, uh, I suggest we nope the fuck out of this restaurant. Go along with our lives. The fuck? Fred, I swear to God, if you jump out at me. I swear to fucking Christ, Freddy! Freddy! I swear to God! Alright. Just went on stage for the second time. I got a terrible stage fright. <laughs> the prep bathroom. Exit! Yes! Let's go! The fuck? Dude, look how look how fucking slow it makes us pan. Hi. <laughs> Please don't kill me. <laughs> oh my god, my legs are shaking. Fuck. Ah. The fuck, man? <laughs> I'm scared. You are pulled back to safety by a floating, a floating featureless figure. By a floating figure, featureless figure. Standing before you with its white, with its eyes locking locked on your pale face. It looks like it wants to help recover your lost memories. The shadow offers you a story to clear your head. Will you accept? So... Uh, sure. Once was a little kid. Okay, I'm, I'm actually gonna do my voice. I actually gave the puppet for this. <clears throat> there once was a little kid who liked to play with his toys by his lonesome. Sorry if that's sorry if that voice is gonna get obnoxious, but it's the voice I gave him. Damn it! <laughs> he lived with his family on a small, peaceful house outside of town, surrounded by forestry. The home's backyard was his personal stage where he played with his figurines in various shapes and sizes, making plays which were acted out for his amuse for his enjoyment alone. Although he was alone, he was content in living out his youth playing with the plastic friends his parents had gifted him with. 
They were a small mannequin, a stuffed teddy bear, a porcelain dress-up doll, and a toy robot. Well, um, look, judging by this artwork, which is fucking amazing, that, uh, dog got that toy robot in his chompers. Look at that. Look at the determination on that little puppy's face. Aww. Whoa! Okay, this artwork is insane. I love it. My lord. This is good artwork here. But one day, the family's pet dog stole one of the toys during his playtime. Into the woods, he excitedly ran away with a toy robot, prompting the kid to chase after him to reclaim his friend. Annoyed by the dog's playful attitude, the kid caught up, grabbing the toy from the thief's mouth that he began to pull. Oh, to be young and carefree. A, dog, a kid and his dog playing tug of war in the back garden of their house with no one to interrupt them. Sounds like a, sounds like a wonderful memory, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I, used to play, I play tug of war with my dog all the time. Dog excitedly... The dog excited to f receive a the dog excited to finally receive a the attention it craved from the young master of the house refused to lose the game they found themselves playing. The toy was almost free from the dog's mouth when when what? Oh my Jesus. What? Whoa! That was literally a snap of the fucking neck. Jesus Christ! What? <laughs> okay, I love this game already. Really, you have got his friend back. The kid wiped the pool of drool off of the toy robot with the bottom of his shirt. He walked back home, leaving the animal twitching helplessly on the grass barely, with barely enough room left in his swollen neck to let out a pitiful dry howl. JESUS CHRIST! Have I said that enough times this episode? JESUS! I'll never go again. God damn. This is, d this is dark! The kid, uh, the kid, arrived, the kid, arriving back from the trees, positioned the toy robot back where it was on its, on his makeshift stage, and continued playing. Later that afternoon, the parents found the dog, found the body of the dog. They buried it where it stood. What the fuck? Oh, I love this already. Four nights remaining. Well, that's just gonna have to wait till next time because I am all out of time for this video. Holy shit, Nuggets, that was amazing! My god! I can't. I cannot help but clap at this. Oh my lord! Okay, this game is amazing, hands down. Wow! Alright, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna stop here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, leave a like down below and let me know. And if you want to see more content on my channel, please bite the front of the little bar for that subscribe button and cause the bite of 2018. Bye, everybody! <sighs> 2018, 2019. I keep forgetting that 2018 is over, Sage. Jesus Christ. Uh, thanks again for watching, all you guys out there on the internet. I will see all you guys in the very next video. The Zombie Slayer! Signing out. Peace!